So we are very proud and very, very honored as Shelter Africa to be part of this development. And it's now our honor jointly to officiate you know, and open this project. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like sorry. Oh, he lives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Across our other developments, we had to change the configuration in a three beds instead of Our vision is clear affordable housing for all in Africa. How are we going to do that? We are focusing on public private partnerships so that we are able to create growth with scale. We want to focus on the low end of the affordable housing market chain. We appreciate this development today, the 248 units. We look at the pricing. Yes, it's good quality homes, but um, 8 million, 9 million Kenyan shillings, $80,000, um, $90,000. Our challenge to the FH uh, group and FHDI is that how do we move from 80000 to 20,000, how do we use the same capital to grow another four houses? Because the challenge for housing in Africa is actually a crisis. We want to do big business, we want to partner, in fact, we've partnered uh, with the Kenyan government on the Big Four agenda. And as much as there's a crisis, we say, at least if we can make that difference, contribute to reducing that crisis, utilize the funding from Shelter Africa to catalyze more funding from other bigger development financial institutions will have made the difference we need in the 44 country states that represent us. Kenya, like many other African countries or countries in Africa, is characterized by high rates of population and urbanization growth. These high growth rates have given rise to a surge in the demand for urban infrastructure and housing in urban areas in particular. The partnership between our two institutions goes beyond this particular project whose official inauguration we are witnessing here today. The two institutions, as it was mentioned by Mr. Kabara, co-finance the development of the Comarok Phase 5A in 2012, which consisted of the construction of 155 housing units to the tune of 647 million Ken Kenya shillings, as well as uh, another investment of 930 million Kenya shillings, uh, which financed the second phase of that same project in 2014. In a single location, Comorock Estate, we've built 5,000 houses. And if you add all the houses between Comorock, Buruburu, and others, we probably have got about, uh, under our belt, over 10,000 houses. And I don't believe there's any other developer who has done that. And therefore, we are in a pole position, and we have been participating fully in the government uh, affordable housing agenda under the big four. Uh, affordable housing is a fundamental human right and economic driver over the years. Both us and Shelter Africa have stood out as an institution committed to that cause. And uh, over the last 53 years, we remain that. that. And HF has a, an initiative under our foundation called Army of One Million Artisans. And I'm happy to say that in this project, we have trained a lot of artisans. And overall, through partnerships with GIZ and others, we have actually trained thousands of artisans right here in projects like the one we are doing.